This is a day of great celebration and reverence on which we come together before God to recognize and commemorate the sacred love and dedication shared between these two people. It's wonderful to have you all here today. Andrew and Vanessa would like to thank all of you for being here and would like you to know that each, of you, each one of you was invited here on this day because you have played an important part in their intertwining lives. As the Bible reminds us in Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. In the time that Andrew and Vanessa have spent together, they've built a sturdy foundation for a lifelong relationship. After a great deal of thoughtful consideration, they have decided to bind themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. May we all remember and cherish the sacred ceremony, for on this day, with love, we will forever bind Vanessa and Andrew together. And now we can have Kathy come up and give the family blessing. gives this right away today? Thank you very much. If there is anyone here in attendance who has cause to believe that these two should not be married, please speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! Gotta pull the strap out. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Marriage is a sacred ceremony. Today we observe the union of these two people with the respect that the occasion warrants. What we honor with reverence, however, we also celebrate with great joy. For a married life, a shared life is a tremendous blessing. Now as Andrew and Vanessa embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them a better version of themselves. Andrew and Vanessa learn to work together. Any adversity that comes your way is easier to overcome if you work as one. Just as your challenges are yours to share, so too are your victories. Understand that a healthy marriage is a choice. Choose to listen to each other. Choose to take ownership of how you treat each other. Choose to continually put it in the effort for one another. We often give our most charming, most charismatic, most energetic selves to everybody else throughout our day. Then when we get home, our partner gets the scraps at the end of the night. Put in the effort for each other every day and don't take each other for granted. Learn to laugh together. Take delight in our precious Aria and all she does. Learn to love together. The love you share must be guarded and cherished as your most valuable treasure. Keep in mind that a healthy marriage isn't the absence of conflict or disagreement. Rather, it's the ability to repair and grow together as a team. And as they see you taking each other's hands, these are the hands of your partner, young and strong and full of love, holding your hands as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you and comfort you in grief and in uncertainty. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears away from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold your family together as one. These are the hands that will give you strength. And these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours.
still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Under the eyes of God, I solemnly consecrate these matrimonial proceedings and the sacred covenant you both enter on, into it on this day. Marriage is an ancient right. As you enter this union, you are pledging to com your commitment to, before the witnesses present here today to do so with honor. As Jesus said, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Andrew and Vanessa, the sacred vows that you make to each other today present you with the opportunity to express your love in your own words. I would like at this time to invite you to publicly declare your vows. Andrew, you may begin. Hello. I just want to make sure I'm coming in clear. We always talked about the first interactions we ever had with each other. How weird and awkward they were. <laughs> but then one day you shared something with me that gave me a glimpse of your heart. It was a chicken wing. <laughs> that led to us taking, to talking and eventually dating. In the first couple months, you changed me. Not on purpose or intentionally, but by being your loving self. Now I know the road here today was not as smooth at all. And I don't expect it to be smooth after today because, well, that's life. So with that knowledge and understanding, I vow to always provide for you, not just physically, but mentally, to continue to learn from you day to day, to make sure no matter what happens, we always talk things out and find solutions to any problems because it's us versus everyone. And even teammates argue from time to time. And most importantly, to pray with you and for you because nothing is, nothing is impossible with God on our side.
not only did you do that, but your family and friends did that too. That alone let me know that regardless if we made it work again, or even if you ended up just being my friend, that we were meant to be in each other's life in this lifetime. Shortly after saying this to myself, you came back to me. Through the twists and turns in our relationship, love kept us together. Time has only made us stronger, wiser, and closer together. We both know that I can be indecisive. Making decisions is difficult because like most anxiety-driven people, I think of pros and cons for everything. And I know I often respond with, I don't know, and how much that hurts your soul. But if there's one thing that I am sure of, a thousand percent of the time, it's my decision in you. Andrew. Bear with me. Ooh, I promise to guide you when you ask for direction, to challenge you to do and be better. And I want you to continue to do the same for me. I promise to love you without conditions, to honor you, to laugh with you when you're happy and support you when you're sad. I promise to wake up every day and choose you and to love you with a depth that knows no end. For you're my greatest gift and I'll always treasure you. You've been my biggest fan and my best friend for so many years. You're my person, my life, my protector, and my love. God blessed us with a beautiful daughter who has a genuine heart that's a lot like you and I. And he's also blessed us with angel babies that are in heaven with the ones that couldn't be there for us physically today. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. I can't wait for our family to grow, but most of all, I can't wait to be old and gray with you and to look at our family and say we made it. There's a quote that says marriage is not the end of the search for love. It's the end of the search for the person to love, the search for ways to love that person that has begun. So with that said, today in front of our cherished witnesses, I stand before you and say that for better or worse, rich or poor, in sickness and in health, I promise to love you till death do us part. But even then, I promise I'll search for you in every life to follow. Thank you for being my best friend. I'm an ugly girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got your kid. Thank you, John Carlo. <laughs> of God, Andrew, do you take Vanessa to be your lawfully wedded wife? By making this commitment, you are joining the sacred covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor her in love, be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her for as long as you both shall live? Under the eyes of God, Vanessa, do you take Andrew to be your lawfully wedded husband? By making this commitment, you are joining in the covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor him in love, to be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty and put, put your full and complete trust in him for as long as you both shall live. Very well. Where is the rings? this union, you will exchange rings. The circle formed form by each ring symbolizes your eternal love and commitment to one another. Let these rings remind you always of that love and the promises you have made here on this day. Will each of you please repeat after me as you place the ring on your loved one's hand? Andrew. I, Andrew, give you, Vanessa, this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I be wed. Are you Vanessa? I, Vanessa, give you under this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I be wed. And 
now by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of California, I now pronounce you, Andrew and Vanessa, as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. Andrew, you may kiss your beautiful bride forever sealing your union. Yay! 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 That's a wrap. That's a wrap, y'all. That's a wrap.